All right, march to ground quarters. Ground quarters, what the hell is ground quarters? Get out of there, will you? Like that, I nearly cut my throat. Hey, what's that? Right there. Take a ride with it. <laughs> 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 Making a future for their kids. That's something you can't buy them. Oh, Christ. God damn. All right. 25 years pass. He keeps for. Uh, Rosen, uh, that's all. <laughs> Do you hear me? Come with me to the cellar. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Yes, 13. God damn it. I... <laughs> She's figured out a new thing, a new setup for you and me. Yes. Since when do we get to be such a <laughs> Oh, boy, I, I'm sorry about that out there, but Cully, he's, he's getting too big for his britches. That's the trouble with Cully, he's getting too big for his britches. <laughs> he's getting too big for his britches. I look at the wrong side of the camera. <laughs> doesn't know her name. Doctor, I can't help it. It's orders. All right, I'll tell you her name. Uh, her name? What the hell is her name? <laughs> Always subject to your approval, Doctor. Dog doesn't eat dog, eh? Oh, I'm not a practicing physician. Um, now, what the hell do I say? If ever there was a stupid 14-carat dumb cluck who ought to have his own head examined, that's me. Do you believe me now? I'll be goddamned if I know what the hell to say. She give me oxygen. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm having a hell of a time. There we are, boys, ass and all. <laughs> Come on, lift it. All right, you dive keeper. Why do you think for a second that we're going to come in this crummy goddamn place against the duck place? Which way? Okay. What's that? Has this all driven now? What'd you feel about her? You thought it was all over, but it wasn't. It's still there. I could... God damn, it's still in you. <laughs> a father, 40, what? Oh, remember, Mr. Stanley, I too am giving up something. It would make a whale of a broadcast. Say something, Mr. <laughs> Keeley. Say something. Cut it. Maggie, you know that one of my cardinal principles is never to interfere in anybody else's wife. <laughs> wife. <laughs> Don't look at me and say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I arrived in white tie and tails to be met by two bewigged butlers who very quietly proceeded to take my trousers off. <laughs> oh. I was then ushered in my lemon yellow shorts, God damn it! Uh, have we ever met our friend? <laughs> Sherry, my own, if you really must know the truth, and I bloody well gone again on the same God damn line. <laughs> But, Sherry, darling, I've been so worried now seeing you in this chair. This chair fits my fanny as nothing else ever has. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought an hour ago I'd be on my way to South Carolina? Life is just full of surprises, isn't it? Will you both stop this violent headache? <laughs> <laughs> Shall I tell you how I glittered through the South Seas like a silver scimitar? Or would you rather hear how I finished a three-act play with one hand whilst making love to a Maharaja with... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well,
sorry. I guess I had your hat. That's all right. I had yours. Well, then I must have yours. Then you've got mine. Say, we girls certainly have trouble with our hats. You give me mine or I'll hit you with my beaded bag. Mr. Flynn was always one for exercise. He got those big shoulders playing tennis, his big arms from golf, his big chest from swimming, and you ought to see his great big... But can you blame a fella if he likes to ride horseback? Well, Mr. Flynn seems to be making eyes at someone. When Errol gets this look in his eye, look out, girls. It only means one thing. And oh boy, look at the little number he's promised a screen test this time. Careful, my little pigeon, there's a seahawk after you. Mr. Flynn's in a bad way, but he claims these eyes are helpful when he eats in a restaurant. With one eye, he can watch his dinner, while the other watches his hat and coat. The glamour boy in action. Oh, Errol, you kiss so divinely. Uh, yeah, I used to be a Boy Scout bugler. I still can't graze my ass off the ground.